Hey friends, today we are hanging out at the Magic Kingdom and it is officially spring break, one of the busiest times for theme parks and I wanted to come out and make a video and show you guys what it's like at the Magic Kingdom, show you the wait times and how crowded it can be and then also Disney put together a bunch of little springtime snacks that I wanted to show you. So we're going to ride some rides, eat some food and have a fun Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's. Let's go do this. The weather at the Magic Kingdom is beautiful today. Temperatures are in the high 80s and it looks like no rain. Just some crystal clear blue skies and sunshine. Even though I might say, hey, look, it's very busy, or check out the crowds here, I know what I'm getting myself into, and I come to the parks all the time, so even though it's not too busy, I still have fun just hanging out here. I just wanted to point it out in case you guys ever want to come. You want to see what it's like to come during this time period, and you spend a lot of money, it's kind of like giving you guys a, giving you guys like a bird's eye view. As you can see, the spring break crowds are in full effect. Holy moly. That's a crowded Main Street USA if I've ever seen one before. Hey, how are ya? Just take a look at some of these wait times. The Mini Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, 65 minutes. Uh, the Little Mermaid, 65 minutes. Haunted Mansion, 70. Jungle Cruise, 105 minutes. And Seven Doors Mine Train, 120 minutes. It's a very busy day today. You know it's a busy day in the park when the uh, queue for uh, Monsters, Inc. is outside. Look at this. This is for the laugh floor. 25-minute wait. And there's a wait for the lightning lane. They have a lightning lane wait. Holy moly. Today is a Tuesday. It's not even a weekend. And it's March 12th, so we're right in the middle of March. And it is very busy. I wanted to buy Genie Plus so I could see what I could use for Genie Plus. Uh, but guess what? It's sold out. Genie Plus is sold out for Magic Kingdom. And uh, yeah, we're at the mercy of the uh, standby. The mercy of the standby. Even if I was like, you know what? I'm going to pay the extra money to skip the lines and not have to wait in line. Uh, you can't do it because it's all sold out. Look at that. But if you wanted to do it for Epcot, it's $28. Disney's Hollywood Studios is $32 a person. And then Animal Kingdom is $25. But you can only use them in those parks. So today, we're just going to check on the wait times. See what it's like and see what we can ride without having to wait an hour or two. Uh, and try some of the food. There are some good food coming out for spring in fact i think we're gonna start there get some treats and snacks to show you guys right at the front of the park at the confectionery the people mover is usually one of my go-to rides whenever it's a busy day in the park because you can look for like a minimum wait time not today though this is the line here and it goes and cuts back a lot in the queue there probably i would say a 25 minute wait which still isn't that bad i'm just moving with the people mover line moving with the people mover line carousel progress you can walk on there you go i might I, you know i might come back and do that i love the carousel progress but holy moly look at it over here tight corridors here it's getting busy in tomorrow land I probably made a big mistake when I came into the park. I just kind of beelined it for Tomorrowland because I wanted to get off Main Street. Uh, but now I'm heading back to the Main Street. I'm heading back to Main Street to go to the confectionery. And it is just like, yeah, shoulder to shoulder. Like, it's a busy spring break, like I thought. <laughs> Bob and Weeb. <laughs> Sorry, honey. No worries, no worries. Excuse me. <laughs> it's getting a little tight walking down Main Street USA uh, because the three o'clock parade is going to be happening soon. Uh, but that's the way we got to go because I want to get the popcorn at the confectionery, and I think they have a special little uh, like Skittles lemon bunk cake, like a special springtime cake. Uh, so we're going to make our way down there. But I did mobile order so I can get it quick. Here it is, Main Street Confectionery, home of Mars Candy Treats. Ooh, 
Well, it's not that busy in here, though. Oh, but they have a nice little Easter display here. You can see them back there making little Skittle Rice Krispie treats. And I got uh, something from the popcorn uh, stand where they make the popcorn. They like customize it and it's like a springtime one. Oh, like that one. That's the one I got. It's like a springtime surprise. And it's really fun. I kind of like these things, but it's very, it's big. It's like a big, big thing of popcorn. All mixed with candies and cookies and all of the good stuff. Here's a couple more of the Easter treats they have. Look, an Easter bunny caramel apple. Something else with a bunch of Easter bunny stuff. Cupcake. Looks like they were all sold out of the Skittles bunk cake that I wanted to show you here at the confectionery. When I showed up to pick up the mobile order, they were like, I'm sorry, we don't have any more left. And they gave me two of the uh, springtime cake pops instead. And I was like, well, that was nice. They gave me an extra one just to make up for it. Uh, but yeah, we got the goods, got the Easter springtime snacks. Here it is. First, I'll show you the cake pops. Look at these little beauties. I would assume that uh, these are chocolate. You can see there's like probably a darker cake uh, underneath there. It might be red velvet, uh, but it looks like it's like a yellow vanilla icing, which uh, little M&Ms on there. And then here is the spring uh, popcorn mix. Oh man, look at it, it's sticking together. Holy moly. This actually looks amazing. I am pumped. I mean. I love popcorn mix and it's like a limited time offering. It's caramel popcorn layered with M&M's, uh, crushed vanilla cookies, mini marshmallows, yellow and white chocolate drizzle all together over and they mix it all in there. Isn't that cool? All right, we're going to give it a go. I'm diving in. The best part is like the top of the popcorn where it all kind of like stuck to the top. That's like my first bite. I have a little plate here. The marshmallow and the white chocolate and uh, the uh, little vanilla wafers it looks like all kind of blended together look at that oh wow okay <laughs> hey how are you <laughs> oh no worries I'm just <laughs> eating some popcorn you know how I be <laughs> have a great one but yeah look at that you know how I be eating some popcorn <laughs> That is so good, holy moly. I love it. And now, I think the parade's gonna happen. So we gotta get to the cake pop. Ears first. I think there, uh, I think there's marshmallow ears in here. Mmm. I like the popcorn a lot better than the cake pop. I feel like they could have done something better for the cake. You know what I mean? It's a springtime cake pop, so maybe like something lemony or, you know what I mean? Flowery, but chocolate. I mean, I liked it, but I think the other one's chocolate too. So what's the difference? It's just yellow, uh, but I really love this popcorn. And now I have a little lid I could put on it. And look at that. It says spring on the front. <laughs> Spring, I, I put the extra cake pop that they gave me in there just to make it look fancy, a little snazzy. Now I think uh, we're gonna try to make it out of this, make it out of Main Street before the parade comes because it gets super busy. I made an executive decision. Instead of trying to fight through the crowds, I think we're just gonna backtrack a little bit, take the train around and uh, do a little loop-de-loop, -loo, do a little wrap around, you know? I love a good train ride, and I think the train's coming in right now, actually. Holy moly, just in time. Holy moly, there's a line for the train. <laughs> Just sitting over here with my popcorn thinking, I don't know the last time I seen a line for the train. <laughs> I don't think we're catching this train. No, gotta wait for the next one, it looks like. Oh wait, maybe, maybe. Oh there you go. How are you? Coming in. You sharing popcorn? Yeah, you want some? <laughs> hey, sorry. You're too kind, but <laughs> Oh. If you're missing those friendly faces already, not to worry. On this train, it's never goodbye. 
It's always see you real soon. Now, if you're more the rootin' tootin' type, then partner, saddle up, because this here's Frontierland. If you're disembarking, wow, Tiana's Bayou Adventure. The, the platform before unfolding. That'll help make room for a new one. Watch your step now. This is Frontierland Station. Yeah! Welcome to Frontierland. As we approach the station, please remain fully seated. I will give you the all clear when it is safe to disembark. I got off the Frontierland station because I wanted to see uh, Tiana's Bayou. I hear it's coming along uh, like fast. And uh, I wanted to stop off and give you guys a quick look, a quick peek. Wow, it really is coming along. Holy moly, look at the top there. I don't know if you can see it. I'll have to go up on the top, uh, the second bridge there. Uh, but you can see there's no uh, water going down the hill. But it's all down here. It's all down here from here. It's all down here from here. I am excited when Tiana's Bayou Adventure opens uh, because it's gonna make a lot of the other rides kind of uh, go down in wait times. Right now, having this rod closed uh, is making everything uh, kind of longer. Only because it was such a big draw when it was Splash Mountain. So once it opens back up, holy moly, it has changed a lot. But once it opens up back up, uh, I bet you the wait times will go down a lot in the park. I didn't notice it before from down there, but look at all that detail. I'm gonna try to zoom in for you a little bit. Look at that. Lots of pretty flowers up there. I think they're actually testing it now. I came over here for a second, all of a sudden I heard a big splash. Look at that. I thought I heard it. I was like, hey, oh, wow. Oh, that would feel so good right now. On the first, like, kind of hot day of spring. Taking that 50-foot plunge. It was nice to see Tiana's Bayou Adventure running and uh, the, the log flumes going down. Like I said, I can't wait for that to open. It's going to be really nice to have like a wet water ride here at the Magic Kingdom because I don't think there's any other ones, right? So like when summer comes, like people are going to be looking like, you know what I mean, to cool off a little bit. The Country Bear Jamboree might be closed, but you can still catch Big Al roaming around the park. Put her there. Thank you. I appreciate you. Have a great one. <laughs> See you later, Big Al. I just made my way down to Storybook Circus, and uh, we'll catch the train from here, but maybe we'll stop in the Big Top Souvenirs. Big Top Billie Eilish. Earlier, I was talking about how people want to, like, cool off, and I forgot that they had this splash pad, like, Casey Jr. splash pad down there, and I remember uh, one time it used to be off for a long time, and I thought it was still closed, and I walked up, and it caught me off guard, and I'll never forget it. <laughs> it got me so scared, and it kind of is that way, too, because, like, right now, it doesn't look like it's, like, spraying water, but... It, you can tell by the ground. You can tell by the ground. So don't come peeking around here and get, you know, caught. <laughs> like, look at this area. It's all wet. And you can see there's even... I don't want to get close. Because I don't know when it's going to do it. But you can, you can tell there's water dripping off the elephant right here. I don't know what the sequence of it. It's making noises, too. Peanuts are in there. I don't want to get caught with this. Look. The camels are making a bunch of... Yo, every time they move, it scares me, and I kind of flinch. Because I'm like, I don't know if they're going to spray at me or what. Oh. Yo, I was so close. It just erupted now. Holy moly. I mean, I pull off. Too much. Too much. It looks like the great Goofini uh, pulled some magic and uh, the Barnstormer opened back up. So maybe uh, it'll open and the wait time will be a walk-on. I love riding the Barnstormer. Even though it's like a kiddie roller coaster, I love the theming of it, you know? Oh, let's go see. It might be opening back up. And there's, I mean, it's been closed for a little bit. So if it opens back up, the line's going to be a walk-on. Oh, there's already a line forming. It's like everyone heard the Barnstormer's opening. 
everybody knows when a ride is down and you see it running uh, to kind of just like kind of linger around because it's going to open back up. And especially nowadays when you got to pay money to skip the line or wait an hour today, it's kind of a big deal to kind of have a no wait. You know, it's kind of like hitting the lottery. There's a large group of people gathering to come see the great Goofini. Opening, look at that. Oh yeah, come on in. We saved ourselves a 50 minute wait. We did. Ah, nice. Like I said, this is kind of a big deal. Where you either have to pay $20 to skip the line or you gotta wait an hour. I mean, it's like you won a lottery here. <laughs> Train and Tron. Train and Tron. Look at that. A walk on one of the busiest days of the year. Well, busiest months of the year. Spring break season. I love sitting in the front because they have the little propellers up there. Oh, I love it. It's going to be a, a quick ride, but I love this ride. Oh boy, here we go. Sun. Oh boy. Storybook Circus! Ugh. Look, the propeller's still spinning there. Fly again soon! Seriously, I love this ride. And I, I don't think I'd wait 55 minutes for it, though. <laughs> it was nice riding the Barnstormer, but now I made my way over to Tomorrowland, and I'm gonna head over to Joffrey's, because I think I need a little coffee. I need a pick-me-up. I need an afternoon pick-me-up, because I think it might be too busy, and maybe we might park hop. Go see if it's busy in the other parks, you know? I like coming to this coffee stand because the line is usually shorter than uh, Starbucks on Main Street. But wait a second, I don't know about that today. Holy moly. I think I just might mobile order a cup of coffee from the launching pad. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's all the way down here. I was gonna get some, get some coffee over here. Wow, this is, it's a busy day. I think I might just call it quits on Magic Kingdom today. Maybe just go park off to Epcot because they still have uh, Genie Plus available. At least we can buy Lightning Lanes there. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll probably head out, stop off and see Gracie Girl. I don't know. I don't, I don't want the night to end. Seems like I'm having a good time, so might as well keep it going. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Having a good night? Yeah? Yeah, might as well keep it going. I got a fancy car camera now. Ooh. I'm on the top of the world Looking down on creation Why do you build me a buttercup, baby? There she is. There's my Gracie girl. You want to go for a walk? Huh? Let's go for a walk, huh? Come on, let's go. Now that we got Gracie, uh, I got a new car. I don't know if you guys noticed, and uh, I'm gonna take her to the dog park, and then we're gonna go uh, pick up Shauna Kristen and go get something to eat, maybe head to Epcot, see what it's like there, and uh, I don't know. Like I said, just bring you guys along. Come on, Gracie! What are you doing, huh? Yeah, you like a little back rub? Look at all the hair that comes off Gracie when you see it in the sunlight, look at that. Look at that. Ooh, it's like it's snowing. Holy moly, Gracie. Ooh, oh. You gotta get it all. After you, Gracie. Woo! Now that Gracie got to hang out for a little bit, we made uh, our way to the boardwalk. Picked up uh, Sean and Kristen. And it's still beautiful out. I love that the time changed and the days are longer. And it's like not even close to a sunset. Look at this. 
Look at that beautiful view. We're gonna grab something to eat here. I love it. I always look at the water and wonder if there's any alligators in there. I love hanging out at the boardwalk. I love just being able to walk in, the smell of it, the whole resort. It's so beautiful. Look at this in here. Isn't that so nice? And the wood floors and the carousel on the top here. This randomly goes off this way to the lounge and the game room. We might hang out in the Bellevue for a little bit. Oh yeah, look at, we're already on our way there. This is there we uh, like to hang out. I love the old timey music. They have an outdoor seating area too. And I uh, figured I'll get a little espresso teeny. A little espresso teeny. Look at that. What a view, too. Just hang out here. I kind of feel like uh, the Great Gatsby, you know? <laughs> Just sitting out here. Cheersing to make each day count. Here, here. I think I'm crossing over the Great Gatsby with Titanic. But I like both Leonardo DiCaprio movies, so. Cheers. I think they're actually playing the uh, Taylor Swift Eras Studio. The Eras Tour, like the Eras Tour on Disney Plus. On the movie on the stars. Oh, it's just a preview? Are you ready for it? We were hanging out at the Bellevue Lounge and uh, decided to probably not head into Epcot. The sun is starting to set. It's very nice. Oh, look, they're out there on a little happy birthday cruise. Happy birthday! Tuesday night at the boardwalk. Isn't that bumping? Got the sad jazz music playing. Dance halls closed. Hell convention in town. Hmm! <laughs> Hey, did you know Jelly Rolls is even closed? Yeah, it's a private event. It's there, a private right? event. I was joking around about like a hell, t uh, hell convention in town. Like, you know, from the office, there's just some kind of convention. They really did rent it out. They rented out the Jelly Rolls. We were hanging out at the boardwalk up at the Bellevue Lounge. And uh, we were thinking about going to Epcot. It got dark out and it's busy. So instead, we're going to go get some dinner on the other side of the boardwalk over here at... Uh, the Yacht and Beach Club. We're going to go to Cape May Cafe if we can get on the walk-up list. It looks like it's open. It says it's a 10-minute wait, but we had to walk over here to get closer. Yeah, you got to be in a certain distance to join the walk-up list. Cape May Cafe is a buffet, and they have like some regular food, like non-seafood food. Whenever I say regular food, it's because I used to not like seafood. I didn't know it and know what I would like. Now I kind of like some seafood, so uh, yeah, it's a good mixture. And I think they have uh, crab legs they used to sell by the bucket, uh, but I don't know if I'm going to get those. And well, you know, we'll talk about the prices. Let's figure it'll bring you along. Oh boy, here comes one of those Siri bikes. Cape May Cafe. Coast on down to this New England style beachside setting for a Disney character breakfast and a seafood dinner buffet. Look at that. Seafood dinner buffet is $47 and $27 for adults. Comes with uh, an array of clams, mussels, shrimp, pasta, salads, and more. And it's kind of cool. And it's got like a dessert bar. Look, here's the dessert section. I like how they got the dessert section as soon as you walk in. Oh, I can't wait to try some of these. Peanut butter marshmallow profit roll. I did a pretty good job. It's a big word for Elmo. And you got a chocolate banana tart, a lemon blueberry donut. Oh, they've got a signature bonbon, a Cape May cafe tradition since 2000. Oh, bonbon. I think I remember saying that one time. And then they got cookie dough, followed as chocolate. Even some other stuff over here, too. Oh, some more cookies. I can't believe we're starting with dessert. Look at that. Seasonal fruit buckle. Some bread pudding, too. Huh. Oh, I want to get some 
They have pork up there. They have pizza. Looks like a strip mall. A lot of good food. Fried shrimps. I'm just going to wait and then go up and make a little plate and show you what's on the plate. And uh, kind of... You know, browse the buffet. Browse it. We already seen the dessert. Now I can't wait to try it. That's later. Why are we sitting so awkwardly? Awkwardly? You're the you're the head. Well, who's sitting here? Like we're... you're the one that's sitting at the awkward. Seat. Can I sit here? Yeah, you can. <laughs> well, then who's table? Who's chair is? Whose chair is that? It's random. I feel like some one person should have all sit in the chair. Here is a look at the buffet. We got cornbread here, steamed shrimp. Steamed clams, steamed mussels, potatoes. They got ribs too. Wow, they got a carving station. Roasted pork, coffee, rubbed carved beef, pizza. I like it. Meatballs, marinara, little bow tie pasta. Chicken legs, broccoli, mac and cheese. Oh, thank you, good sir. Ooh, it's a heavy one. Oh yeah, look at the seasonal vegetables. Pasta of the day, tofu, fried clam strips, fried fish nuggets. Oh, I love this shrimp. This is just like regular fried shrimp. I'm taking a couple of these bad boys. A couple shrimps. Then they got a paella. Are you getting this lobster yes, soup? I got some uh, salad and now I'll get some soup. Some soup and salad. They got fruit too, fruit cocktail. Oh. Look at this clam chowder. Look at this chowder. You're gonna get the oyster crackers? Oh, those actually look like I know. oyster crackers. They look like a little bit like darker. Like toasted. Toasted oyster crackers. Oh, peeling these shrimp over here. They got a lot of stuff. You getting some of that chicken? Yeah. Oh, they got ribs, corn on the cob, mashed potatoes. Huh? No, I think those are are there boneless ribs? Scoop Z potato. Oh, here we go. I got shrimp, potatoes, pork, beef, cornbread, mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes look chunky and runny at the same time. Chunky and runny. Just how I like them. Yeah, it's got like a cheesy orange color. I wonder if I'm gonna like them potatoes. Potatoes. It's a pretty good buffet, but it's built for like seafood lovers. You know what I mean? Yes. Like I like the little bit, but like I mean, you have to be really invested in seafood to like want to come here and like. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like the the coffee strip and the the strip loin and the pork, but like you can get that like as a meal for like thirty dollars. Is that paying forty seven? You know what I mean? That's what this is. Forty seven. It's forty seven dollars a person. Dang, this is not called. Yeah. Even for Dizzy, this is not screen 47. Yeah, you know what I mean? I think it's the fresh, and they don't give you the crab legs anymore. You used to get free crab legs, but I think it's an upcharge to add a bunch. I jumped right into the dessert only because I was so excited when I walked in. But I have a feeling that this lemon blueberry donut is like gluten free or something. Or it's like something special. But they like a peanut, oh, put that peanut butter marshmallow thing down. Look at this though, the strawberry bread pudding. It was pretty good, I already ate half of it. It didn't make it back, did it? It didn't make it back. <laughs> Little peanut butter marshmallow portofinos. Is that what they call them? I forget what they call them. What is that? Profiteroles. 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 Profiteroles? Whatever they are, they are very delicious. And they're peanut butter and they're marshmallow. Look at these. I know my table's probably tilted, but it keeps going. Look at that. I think my favorite things about Cape May Cafe were definitely the desserts. I like these little sugar cookies. I, can, uh, I took one out with me. Uh, but uh, now we are here at... Oh. I think some of my favorite things at Cape May Cafe were definitely the desserts. I love the little peanut butter mousse marshmallow thing. And I like the uh, pork too. And even the sugar cookies. I took one out with me. And now here is the Easter displays at the uh, beach club. Look at this. They always have the Easter egg displays. Look at the crew. I think this is all made out of chocolate. Or a tree. 
they also have Mickey and Minnie there. Chip and Dale. I love it. And these sugar cookies, too. Oof. No bear dogs on the beach? Ah, oh, this is it. Push him, Sean. Oh, you don't have to push me. You can sit down with me. Have a seat. Where was the shot? I always think of one of these Look how cozy this is. We're just sitting here swinging on the sand. Beautiful view. The lighthouse over there. I like it. And with that, I am bald. <laughs> no, I am back home and uh, I had a fun day. Uh, I'm covered in sand by uh, like just hanging out on the beach, swinging for a little bit there. Literally sand everywhere. And uh, kind of uh, makes sense because uh, we're going to be heading to the beach. I'm going to be heading uh, for a nice little trip to the beach before I uh, embark on what might be the biggest trip I have ever done in my whole entire life. And I am so excited to share it with you guys. And uh, we're going to do some videos kind of hitting the road. It's spring break. I came today. I showed you what the parks are like. It is very busy. There aren't many updates coming for a while. So uh, I haven't been posting a lot of videos because now I'm going to kind of hit the road. And uh, I'm going to be taking a little bit of uh, travel break a couple of days uh, till I can travel uh, and then uh, some fun videos but I got some things planned before that so we'll talk about it a little bit more on I don't know I kind of like building up the suspense like the suspense I love like you know what I mean getting all excited to share things with you guys I think it's fun if not I mean I don't know maybe I should just tell you guys what I'm doing oh maybe I should ah oh, maybe you guys should just wait and see I don't know that's how I kind of look at it I'm like oh well maybe 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 I want people to be like oh that's what I want to do you know, I mean, I'm like, oh, you know, like that. That's what I want to do. So that's why I'm like, oh, I don't want to tell exactly every everything, but I'm sure a lot of people have a good idea of what I have in plan, especially if you've been watching the videos on things that I've been wanting to accomplish. And like I said, 2023 was the best year of my life. Like 2023, hands down, was the best year I have ever lived my life. I got to do so many great things. And 2024. We're in March, three months in, and I think, well, yeah, I think by the time April comes, I'm going to say 2024 might be the best year I've ever had. Like, yeah, that's how excited I am. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys enjoy the videos that are to come. So uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.